Yo, yo, what's the deal? It's your boy, The Kid Blast. You're up here at Firehouse Ignite. Got a very special guest with us today, Golden Child in the house. You know, you know. How's it going, my guy? I'm good, man. You good? I'm great, man. Um, I seen you just drop that war, that war cry. Come on now. Talk about it. Um, number three on iTunes. That's right. How did you get the fans, how did you galvanize the fans to really, like, get behind that and really follow the directions you know what I'm saying? Going to iTunes and, you know what I'm saying, buying, you know what I'm saying, buying the album and, and doing all of that. I mean, we put in a lot of real work in the community, real boots on the ground. Um, this was my first album. So a lot of the work that people saw me um, putting in in the community, I believe the album was more so like a celebration of the work. Right. So um, never put an album out. I put out freestyles. I put out mixtapes. But within the last six months, man, we really, really turned up, you know, our boots on the ground activity. And when we released the album, I think the people was really just ready, you know, ready for something, you know. Yeah, man. I, th I think that's one. It's so hard for artists to really get even their most diehard fans to actually follow the steps to to really put their favorite artists on the chart. You know yeah. I mean? like, yeah. It get, so much gets lost in translation. They think they're doing enough just by listening to the music. You yeah, know I mean? for and, sure, and for sometimes sure. Sometimes if you really want to see your favorite artist be on the same status as like the Drakes and the Little Babies, you really have to show that support. You really got to follow it, follow and tune in and follow the directions that they're setting for you to like buy the music yeah. and, and really connect. Um, for sure. I saw that you also released a, a vinyl with it as well. Come right? on, I wish I had some right now I to mean, show we, you. Yeah, bro. we could always link up. I definitely got am you. interested in grabbing one for sure. Um, what, what made you go that direction? Man, I was talking with my team, Joy Management, um, and we were trying to figure out creative ways to market and promote the album. Um, CDs are ab obsolete. Vinyls, I mean, uh, quote unquote, obsolete, if you will. It's not a lot of people that have record players, but I mean, they're more so like a keepsake. Sure. It's trendy right now. Yeah. And we were trying to figure out, you know, what we could do, you know, to, you know, make the release of this album more memorable. So, you know, I was talking with the team. And we said, yeah, let's do vinyls, man. Let's do vinyls. Um, shout out Killer Mike. I went on his website. I saw that he was, um, shout out Killer Mike, man. Yeah, shout out sure. Michael. Congrats I saw, that, yeah, for sure. I saw that he was selling vinyls and I'm like, man, yeah, let's, let's find a manufacturer whereas we can get some vinyls printed up. We would do Project Big. It was my first album. So we said, yeah, let's, let's do some vinyls for sure. So are you, you're from Chicago? Yes, sir. Uh, what part of Chicago are you from? Man, I've been all over the city of Chicago, man. South side, uh, west side, you know, I really bounce back and forth from the south side and the west side, but uh, more so the south side, if anything, for sure. Um, one thing that I was really impressed with as far as like the music or like the content was kind of like making conscious, it, it's kind of crazy, right? Because when people think of conscious rap, they think of like the commons and like the most deaths and like the Talib Kweli's, right? Yeah. Um, but this is like the hardcore version of that you know what i mean you know what i'm saying so this is like almost like a a militant consciousness type, wow. of, type of music okay you know I mean? that's like, an idea you could throw out there um yeah i thought you know there's there's certain artists kind of like styles p that kind of try to make actually using your head like cool mm -hmm. gangster you know what i'm saying like it's gangster to be smart you know uh -huh, what i'm saying like uh -huh, it's not a uh -huh. lot of people that was pushing that that yeah. agenda right yeah um, I feel like you kind of have that 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 same undertone, that same kind of swag with it, mm -hmm. kind of like that skit where you you know everybody's kind of talking about uniting the trenches, kind of like that song, and then it's like you got Buddy Corey like man, fuck all that, <laughs> we're, we're the ops at or whatever, right. and then you show up, and then it's like mm -hmm. hey man, like let's get up. I, I, I thought that was like really good. Martin, yeah. is that kind of something that you've actually encountered, like you know dealing with some of the. The more hard-headed guys on the corner? Yeah, man. Um, most of them really don't say it to me. You know, mm -hmm. you know, we had a conversations and then, you know, they have th those conversations with their friends when, sure. when I leave. Right. But, um, and it's, you know, it's, it's not, I don't think it's fear. It's out of respect and out of love, you Definitely. know, for my approach. Because I'm a lot of these soldiers I'm dealing with, it, it ain't a lot of fear in them that I see. Sure, um, sure. But 
Uh, yeah, you, we definitely deal with that. We definitely encounter that. And I know for the most part, it's out of pain. It's out of hurt. You know, when somebody just took, you know, one of your loved one's lives, the first thing that's not at the front of mind is let's hug. Let's get together. Can we all get along? Sure. The reality is, you know, you're trying to figure out how to retaliate most times okay. in the trench. So I'm real patient with the soldiers because I understand what that pain, you know, can be like. But at the end of the day, um, we all got a common enemy. And, and that's my objective in trying to get it across, you know, to Absolutely. members in my community for sure. Um, I was going to say, do you feel like to really to really turn that corner for a lot of these guys on the corner to turn that turn that corner ideolo ideologically like do you think the best way is through music man man i had this conversation often man i mean i believe music is one of the best ways to get a message across um you know a wise man one of my mentors said that one of your songs can reach more people than um a hundred of my sermons right mm -hmm. And uh, when I heard that, that really inspired me to dive deep into music because music is um, one of the fastest mediums, you know, to get a message across. Sure. And if I felt like there was something else, you know, that I could use to get a message out faster, I'd be doing that. But I've come to find that music is really one of the most fastest ways to get a message across to the people. And it's so much, you know, that music is used to market. You know, they use music to market and promote any everything. and everything i was just gonna ask you about yeah that. for sure and particularly in our community man um when you're trying to get something new to our to our people you know in my community it's generally done through music through art through culture through fashion so um with this message man uh definitely i believe music is the, is the medium for sure that's what's up um I, you don't have any music videos out yet for any of the singles, right? No, sir. No, so is, sir. That, is that what's coming out next? Is that is that is that on? Yeah, man. Um, this is uh, what we do tonight is probably gonna be the first thing to touch the internet, man. Okay. So, uh, nice. well, I'm glad we did. Come on, we come on. Let's rock and roll. Yeah, we're gonna send you all an invoice after. This, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I respect it. I respect it. Oh, um, for sure, man. That's no, dope. but yeah, for sure. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. So no, not yet. But um, when these uh videos do touch the internet, we are gonna break the internet for sure. Shout out Young Will, I had a trenches. Um, shout out D Roll from Maker Media. I'm looking for them to collab and really not just a music video, but really like short films that's, and videos. Yeah, I feel you like know? that's more like your vibe. I'm yeah. feeling like well thought out and well executed is kind of like what I'm getting from you. Yeah, <laughs> so yeah, yeah. I, I wouldn't expect nothing less. You come know? on, come on. Let's rock and roll, That's man. That's dope, man. Um, have you been able to work with any, you know, any other artists, like, that are, I guess, mainstream, that people might, con you know, might consider popular or whatever? Um, yes, yeah, a lot of artists I'm in communication with, especially in Chicago, you know, shout out, you know, the up and coming artists in Chicago and the established artists in Chicago and really all across the world, man, I'm looking to, um, really re release this project, you know, with a lot of features. Mm -hmm. It was just exciting, you know, to, um, to chart the way we did with no features whatsoever, sure. you know, yeah. um, but yeah, 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 yeah. Up and coming artists, you know, a lot of, you know, big names in Chicago. Oh, give me one moment. Let me shout out EBK Juvie because this is that's, that's the reason you know yeah. that, that we're doing this Straight right up. now. Making them connections. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Yeah. That's dope. Yeah, I, I I definitely you know what I'm saying saying his praises last time when I sat down with him just because of the just you know the more positive and different approach that he was taking to this rap shit. You know yeah. What I mean? That mm -hmm. is I just feel like underappreciated, undervalued, and and mm -hmm. underpromoted. You know what I mean? So, yeah, not for long. I mean, all of the soldiers, man. You know that that, that might have been known for negativity. Once they come over to this side, we're creating a platform for them to be known for something different, for sure. Definitely, and in a way that's not corny, you know. And that's really, and that's really the most important thing is because I feel like a lot of you know a lot of tougher kids that are growing up, like they kind of looked at the commons and the qualies as corny. And, you know, obviously looking at these other gangster rappers is cool, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, what, what do we, what did we have to do to change that perspective? You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, man. I mean, uh, we soldiers, man, you know, we warriors, man. And I feel like, uh, that's the part of ourselves, you know, that we don't want to give up and that we don't want to lose. Mm. And oftentimes I feel like under the, the quote unquote conscious or positive lens, the way that that's promoted is promoted in a way that they feel like they got to give up their edge, right? Yeah. You know, give up that side of themselves that, you know, you know, the stand on business side, you know, exactly. the, you know, the, the handle things, you know, the handlers, man. Shout out, you know, my brothers from uh, THF. But um, 
with the unity movement, I think it was so powerful is that, you know, we like keep your edge, man, you know, keep that side of yourself, but just channel that energy into something positive exactly. because uh, just because we positive don't mean we're not going to have enemies, you know.